What's up everyone, this uh, video has been already very late uh, As you can see today we will be reviewing an iPad This is the 2018 iPad Normal Edition 32GB Wi-Fi As you can see this iPad is still uh, holding up kind of well in 2020 It's been getting the updates, it's been uh, not too laggy i guess it's been it's been a a while yeah since the ipad came out nowadays i know the ipad pro the ipad air they don't have the home button anymore uh this ipad still has the home button even the latest one i'm not too sure when they're going to remove the home button from the from the normal iPad as well as the iPad mini uh, I would say this iPad is still worth it if you want to buy a budget iPad as it doesn't look quite different from the from the new 2019-2020 I think that's the 8th gen iPad This iPad has has uh, come down to a price of about 300-350 Singapore dollars You can get it at that kind of price uh, You can get it second hand, brand new, I'm not too sure I don't think Apple sells this anymore uh, The iPad doesn't come with Doesn't come with a case as you guys know for all Apple products They don't come with cases this came with the charger brick, the earpiece I believe, this iPad, maybe the instruction, the Apple stickers or whatever, it's been, it's been a long time since, since I bought the iPad. It's kind of like a end of life review kind of thing because I'm, I'm thinking to upgrade the iPad. This iPad back then was about... 400 500 bucks i guess oh yeah and by the way we would like to appreciate the 0 0.5 times uh camera zoom thingy for the iphone 11 pro because my desk is really small i don't have much space to uh wait 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 what did i just what did i just do did i just buy that Okay, uh, cool. But anyways, uh, back to the video. I forgot what I was saying, but uh, if you wanna play games, watch videos, stream things, I guess the iPad still holds up well. This iPad, uh, nothing much lah. Uh, from the twenty seventeen version. Uh doesn't really have the the new features that the iPhone has yeah and it's still the same curved design like, uh, not like the iPad Pro that has got the thicker design that probably inspired the design for the iPhone 12 series and also going to the back is still one camera the camera is not really that good of a camera because if you look at the camera quality it's really uh I don't know what what's the word to use but you guys can see the it's very grainy I think that's what the word is this camera really uh doesn't have too much capability as a video photo square and panel um, oh yeah, slow-mo and time-lapse as well. I'm kind of interested to try the panel on the iPad, but I don't think it'll appear too good. Moving on, we can test the speakers of the of the iPad. I think it's... You guys can judge. Uh, it's still okay, I guess. It's not the best but not the worst too, so I'll take that for the base iPad if you guys know you can do that as well 
swipe gestures on the iPad, but that doesn't work on the iPhone 8, iPhone 7. Mysteriously, I'm not too sure why, but yeah. So I guess that's almost it for the video. The last thing I want to do is the the app loading function. The app apps kind of load slowly, as you guys can see. Just now there was a lag. Not too slowly, but. It's what it is for the age. Uh, if you have any other questions about the iPad or or whether it's uh, I mean uh, how you fast compared with other devices, I forgot. Uh, I kinda kinda lacking because uh, kind of tired making this video. So yeah, if you wanna see more, maybe comparisons, how it fares against other devices. If you wanna pick up one at a cheap or decent price, uh, you can drop it down in the comments below. I can help you guys out. And that's probably it for this uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.